Hi, hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to explain to you how to write some VBA code that will highlight the highest value cell in a range and will also highlight the lowest value cell in a range. And I understand that you can use conditional formatting to achieve the same uh, result, but uh, if you're doing this quite often, then I find that if you've got the code saved in your spreadsheet, you can just uh, click on Run Macro and it gives you the result more quickly. And over time, I think uh, I think it'll save you uh, yeah, quite a bit of time. So, in saying that, uh, go over to the Developer tab here and get started in the uh, Visual Basic Editor. Put in a uh, new module. Okay, so uh, let's call it Highlight Max Value. I think that's a uh, reasonable name. We'll start it off here with Sub Highlight Max Value. Open and close brackets. Now the first thing we want to do is to define the range that we're looking at. Define what the parameters of the area that we want Excel to find our variable in. So the dimension of the range as the range as defined here for each range in the selection. So what's that what that's doing is saying okay We've highlighted a certain area. This is the... You're looking for a variable in the range that's in this selection. Now here's the if function to define exactly what our variable is. And we'll use the uh, worksheet function as the maximum value in the selection. Okay. So once it identifies the maximum value in the selection, then what, what do we want it to do? We want it to show us which one it is. So I think the uh, best way for it to do that is if we uh, we get it to highlight the cell green. So we'll put in the uh, range style equals good in inverted commas. That will highlight the maximum value green for us. And if next range just to finish it off okay and uh, yeah I think that's about it so let's put in some numbers We'll uh, highlight it, run the macro, and uh, see what happens. Okay, perfect. There you go. It's highlighted the uh, maximum value in green for us. Now, what we can also do is put in a very similar code that uh, 
will highlight the lowest value in the range. So we'll go back to the editor here and uh, put in another module. I think we call it uh, highlight min value. So sub highlight min value to start the uh, uh, start the module. Now we'll put in the same uh, dimensions for the range as we did before. Basically, the only difference will be the variable it's looking for. Everything else as you've probably worked out, it's going to be exactly the same. Okay, so here is where we uh, just change the variable. A minimum in the selection and once it's found that minimum then actually um, there is one other difference we'll uh, get it to highlight the uh, minimum one a different color so I think we get it to highlight the minimum value in uh, in red, so uh, say range style equals uh, bad, inverted commas, and uh, and if next range, and uh, that should work in uh, identifying the uh, the minimum value in the range. So we'll go back to the uh, main part of the spreadsheet. We we'll run this new module, and yes, it uh, highlights the minimum value in uh, in red. So there you go. That's the codes that you need to put in to identify the uh, highest and lowest values in whatever range you're looking at. I'll put the uh, I'll put the codes that you need to use in the description. I hope you found this video useful.